Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and uh, it's a few days after Thanksgiving, so obviously I've uh, been thinking a lot about what I'm thankful for, and one of the things that I'm kind of thankful for is just that I get to be an artist, and, and like we all know what's hard about <laughs> being an artist, but there's some really great things that we all share, and um, and so I just thought I'd talk about a couple of the, a couple, few of those things that I love. And I, these are the things that I see in, in artists and my friends. And uh, I remember once uh, in San Francisco, we had this thing called Fleet, Wit, Fleet Week. And it's this military holiday. I'm not exactly sure why we have it, but called Fleet Week. And it's near San Francisco. And one of the things they do uh, during this week is they fly these, uh, they're the Blue Angels, I guess, those supersonic atomic jets all over the city super low like they're they're screaming across the sky i mean it to me it feels like uh, it's it, it reminds me of what it would be like if you were being invaded by america it, it's it's pretty scary i think uh, you know for a lot of people it's you know it's it's fantastic and amazing but it's super loud and um it's kind of scary to me and I'll, and, but that's not, most people love this week and they go and they watch these jets scream across the sky and everything. And, um, but I was, I remember one time on that particular day, I was having lunch with an artist friend of mine, Adam Wolpert, and I've left a little, uh, link below. You can go see his work. And we were having lunch, uh, you know, in San Francisco on, on, I think it was at the Art Academy. And, uh, these jets were screaming over and I could tell that he kind of felt the same way. It was really, it was really agitating and it just, it wasn't, it wasn't something that he liked either. And I knew that he felt the same way and it, and we were eating lunch and I was, th I was feeding the seagull. I was throwing bread on this, out on this patio and this, it was windy. It was really windy. And this amazing, this seagull came in and it did this really cool, kind of like pivot flight thing where it landed and spun as it landed and it picked up the bread and it did it all in one beautiful dance move. And um, it was so cool. And Adam said, you know, he thought that, that what we just witnessed uh, the seagull do was so exquisitely beautiful and so far, new, far, far beyond, so much more nuanced and graceful and artistic than, than these billion dollar jets that were just ripping across the sky and blasting us all with noise and bravado, you know, and it was just, I just love that because that's, you know, artists are sensitive people and that was just such a perfect example of that. And I, and I just, I love that because I feel like I'm that and mostly I bump into people, regular people in the world who are, are not as in tune to that. I'm not saying people aren't sensitive, but it's just, they're, they, um, the things that I notice, um, I just notice that other artists notice. I'm sure, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, and the other thing is, um, you know, artists pay attention. Like they just pay attention to things. They're paying attention to, to, um, you know, the, the, the details of, uh, guacamole, you know, the, the color of pea soup. I had dinner the other night with some artist friends and uh, we were eating this um, sole, this, this fish. And he, he had he had this air flown in from England and it was he's a chef. And we were looking at this gorgeous fish and the color of it and the texture of it. And I just know that, um, you know, this is just something that artists do. They just gas on the way things look and the texture of things and the subtlety and the nuances and and um you know it's not just something you're eating it's something you're really consuming and with all your senses and that's just really really cool i i i love that and and definitely am that way right you know and um the the other piece of this is that artists are really curious artists are some of the most curious people in the world and I love that because that's what creates the wonder and and there really isn't necessarily always a reason <laughs> for the curiosity but it's just curiosity for curiosity's sakes and so much of the time when I'm working and making my work I don't really um I'm not even sure why I'm interested in something but to just 
just finding your way as you go based on what interests you and finding that finding that pathway and I mean art making is that but it's not something that everybody has the ability to do and I love that and I love experiencing that in other people I know I do a lot of hiking with friends and when I go with my more regular friends who are are not artists more you know kind of like muggle people you know and I have lots of friends you know different kinds of friends but the people who are just on the hike for the hike they're always waiting for me because i'm taking pictures and i'm stopping all the time and i know that that's i'm I'm always feeling a little anxious because i'm trying i know they want to keep moving you know but when i go with artists i'm they're just right there with me they're taking pictures of spider webs they're looking at things and they're just they're just curious and um i don't know i just that's another cool cool thing so i don't know i just thought i'd share these few little great attributes about us and about, you know, I'm just so thankful that I get to be an artist. And more importantly, I get to hang around with artists and, and, and you, and I'm just really thankful um, for this community and all of you. So thank you. Um, I don't know, it's a pretty cool uh, subject. And so maybe leave a comment about um, why you're thankful of being an artist in the comments below. And I hope your, your uh, vacation, your, your break, your Thanksgiving break was nice and restful. Thanks a lot. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great, let's do this.